Viola Davis. Wait, Jenna Ortega is here, I believe. They, they just told me. Hi. And Jenna Come Ortega is here. Hello, hello. hello. Oh, hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? So good. You look beautiful. You look amazing. Thank you. you guys look great. Thank, Thank you so much. You. Um, all right, how do you sum it up? Wednesday. What's the feel? What's the vibe? Um, I feel a little bit better now that I'm on the carpet and I'm starting to see more familiar faces. Yeah. I feel like these events are always a little bit stressful walking yeah. into it, but I'm feeling good now. Okay. Okay. Good. You're like glam teams behind me. I got my friends on the carpet. Right. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And so what has this world when been like for you because my son is obsessed with Wednesday but also he's like wait she's not with yesterday that's yesterday yes. <laughs> oh, that's, such a random that, that's yes. where his first like situation was with Jenna Ortega so, so I, I, I want to know like does it feel like a whirlwind or is this like yeah this is how it should be going uh, I felt like a whirlwind more maybe more at the end of the year when the show initially came out yeah. I feel like I tried to avoid the chaos as much as possible or keep myself surrounded by people that I, I love and know and I think that they kind of helped ease my nerves and and if anything uh, yeah it's a bit of a whirlwind wind. I've, I've felt my life change but yeah. I I think I'm more focused on my work than anything which kind of has helped make it a bit more of a seamless transition yeah. well you changed everybody's life with, with some the dance moves. with that dance with the dance I'm just Brian, saying I can't at all <laughs> I can't I, even sad Saps like me are trying it. Everybody's trying it. Can't do it. How'd you do? It's terrible. I mean, I don't even. I mean, I, I can't. I'm. It's. I'm sorry. This is dying. They're they're pulling you away. I'm so sorry. You're like, it's okay. Hey, Thank you so much. We'll see you later on, and maybe we'll work on it. Have okay. so much fun. Me. Okay. All right. <laughs> Apologies. But showrunner recently revealed that they tried to get you for the fourth season. What happened there? Oh, I was devastated. You're talking about Sarah Gamble. Yeah. Love her. Easily one of my favorite sets that I've ever, ever been on. I was so devastated when they reached out because I miss Ellie and I had been wanting to go back to Ellie for such a long time. But I was in Romania shooting Wednesday. I couldn't travel back and forth with the pandemic and everything like that. And when you're committed to a show, there was just no way that it could have worked out. But that one bummed me out. Hard to say no to. Right? Yeah. Or hard to pass on because of scheduling. Yeah. Well, I tried... <laughs> I tried. You tried. And I now tried. you're a SAG nominee, so I think it was worth it. <laughs> Do you remember the most random commercial you've ever done? I did a furniture commercial once. I hope it never ends up on YouTube. I did an avocado commercial once. <laughs> yeah, that was really, really random. Just literally selling avocado? Yeah, and they didn't ask me to eat the avocado or anything. I'm just sitting at a dinner table and laughing. Like, the avocado was really funny, I guess. <laughs> laughing gleefully at an avocado no one could see. Yeah, avocado. Uh, speaking of fashion, I feel like Wednesday has spawned like all of this now goth fashion. <laughs> Did you ever think, I mean, ha have you seen some of the, the looks that are out there now? Well, I think one of my favorite things to come out of the show is seeing kids respond to where people will post photos of their perfectly colorful, smiley right. daughters and then like a week after watching Wednesday being <laughs> coming out in like black eyeliner or black lipstick. Yeah. I think that's so cool. I cannot wait till these girls get older and able to look back on their goth phase or if they stick with it. And keeping it, I think, even better. God, even better. even better, even better. I feel, I'm glad that it's um, kind of throwing something, a different kind of style out in pop culture. I'm right. very appreciative of that. So, I mean, Wednesday has some amazing one-liners. What, what's your favorite? Ooh, uh, I think there's one where they're trying to find a dress for the school dance. Yeah. And Enid says, uh, oh, I know just what you need. And Wednesday says, a bullet to the head. Yep. And that's very true yep. when it comes to dresses. It's just so deadpan. Like, it's just... Yeah. Well, it's just... Everybody I've talked to has said, like, there is nobody, there is nobody other than Jenna Ortega who could have played this role. Oh, that's being too generous. No, too, too generous. But I feel, I feel really lucky to have even been given the opportunity to have done that. She's such an, an iconic character and someone that I... I've always really admired, so there's, there's a lot of pressure and a lot of responsibility that comes yeah. with something like that. I just want to make sure I did it right. And it's been number one on Netflix forever. Um, how has this changed your world, being a part of the show? Uh, I feel like um, maybe attention is a bit different. I feel like I'm now I'm kind of involved in this stuff a little bit more. Or I, What's been really exciting to me is just um, being able to collaborate with more people or get into more rooms that I necessarily wasn't always able to before. Um, but if anything, I, I, it, I don't think it's changed my life that much. I've been pretty fortunate. I, I kind of just keep to myself and do my work and everything else that comes is just kind of part of the thing, but it's not my priority. Jenna Ortega and Aubrey Plaza. I don't know why they paired us up together. Yeah. 
I know, we have nothing in common. We should find the people who did this. And curse their families and watch as misfortune, misfortune follows their bloodline, bloodline for the next seven generations. generations. Okay, I see it now. Here are the nominees for a male actor in a television movie or limited series. And the actor goes to Sam Elliott. Oh my God.